Pisces, how are you? We're going to get started on your psychic tarot reading for the month of May. This reading is good for now, mid-May through June the 15th, mid-June. So let's get started, my dear, by choosing a tarot deck for you. I want to use this one over here. I just got done with Scorpio and I used this uh, deck and I think I'm going to use it for you and for Cancer next. This is the Witchling Academy Tarot, for those of you that care to know. All right, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the sign of Pisces. This is your Psychic Tarot reading for the month of, for, for now to through June the 15th. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the sign of Pisces. Let's see what we have for you this time around, my dear. We have the Three of Pentacles and then the Six of Wands. Something it is that you should know this time around, my dear Pisces, is that any sort of cooperation, okay, any sort of compromise it is that you uh, do or that you make this time around now through the month of May as well as through the month of June, it's really going to help you rise above some situation. Do know that working with others, being a team player, being able to understand and walk in another's shoes is really going to um, elevate you and help you succeed and accomplish something that you're trying to do. Three of Pentacles and then the Six of Wands. This could certainly be at work. Do know that um, you're going to be faced with a situation in which you're going to have to interact and find yourself exchanging with and uh, having energetic exchanges with those around you perhaps with a particular person a group of people whether you know in your personal life or at work do know that the more you are able to do this harmoniously the more success it is that you're going to uh, find with the six of wands do know as well that uh, you perhaps find yourself in a situation in which uh, you have to um, work with others to accomplish something perhaps quicker or in a more successful way. Do know that this time around, my dear Pisces, it's better to work with others than to work alone. And I keep hearing that this could certainly require, will require some compromise, guys. Let's see. That's what we have. Do know that if you choose this route, you're definitely uh, going to be happy with the results, okay? I feel like everyone can, this will definitely uh, benefit everyone involved. And uh, I, I do feel like... Um, the opportunity to not only elevate yourself but uh, to elevate yourself and as well others at the same time is um is it's a it's an option it's a possibility and in fact it's the it's the best route uh in moving forward here we have the queen of cups this is going to require for you to tap into uh your your intuition perhaps to that compassionate and under emotionally intelligent side of yours queen of cups there could also be another cancer uh cancer pisces or perhaps a scorpio around you for those of you that have uh, artistic talent, and even for those of you that think that you don't, I feel like this time around, uh, you would really benefit greatly uh, by investing in um, some sort of artistic pursuit, endeavor, hobby. I feel like um, 
the main message here that I'm getting for you is that you can absolutely 100% do this, okay? I feel like this is a situation perhaps that could be a little draining um, if you do not, if you do not find time, some an outlet to pour your emotions into. So that's what I'm getting, guys. I'm kind of getting that you're going to be um, exchanging and interacting with um, several people this time around. And I'm getting that that can definitely be very draining, especially when you're constantly having to kind of adapt and change with um, according to the energies around you. So there's a um, a strong level of having to, uh, of adaptation here that need that needs to to happen of control of even reservation of compromise, of understanding, and even a certain level of reservation here, guys, that you're going to have to like ex exude this time around. Um, but, but, but do know that, I mean, this is something um, that you can 100% accomplish and, and do. With the Queen of Cups, I feel like it's important for you to find a creative outlet or any kind of outlet where you could pour in, pour your emotions into. I feel like that is really going to help you maintain your composure, your balance, and it's going to help you um, emotionally, I'm hearing, just stay uh, consistent and fresh, however that resonates. The ocean, paying a bit visit to the ocean, guys. I feel like that is going to be very soothing and very healing. I feel like you should definitely um, search for activities that only that will that will support your solitude. So doing things alone. doing things alone guys okay because i feel like um energetically the month of um the the month of of may and even june could be taxing but 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 only only if you do not remain balanced okay i absolutely do see you being emotionally in a very elevated place I see you uh, coming from um, a very ma mature angle, okay, approaching uh, things very maturely, which in fact is really going to um, allow you to grow, is going to allow you to be seen. Another thing that I'm getting, guys, is that um, through this process, Okay, so this is strange, like what I'm getting, like, um, like I'm seeing these three people here where they're, they're being seen because they work together. I mean, so you might, uh, some of you for a select, if you, I feel like this message is for you, you might be thinking, well, you know, if the attention, for example, is on all, all three of us here or on us then that means that I'm not going to stand out all that much. I feel like this could be in connection to work. I feel like the message here is you will be seen even more as a group. I feel like love matters as well uh, could be of significance here, especially when there uh, is other people involved, perhaps a mother, because I just saw that mother bear. I'm thinking about a mother bear. That is, um, that's the message here. I feel like um, gaining inspiration, okay, perhaps by uh, from an unlikely source. You see how there's a little pirate back there, a little. I 
there's a there's a little pirate there that looks a, a little mischievous which you could say could be a distraction could be a problem we could say that this yeah but you see how this uh and he has a little gun too so you could say i'm seeing this as this could be a situation in which you know could possibly um be irritating perhaps i mean it just looks like this little thing's like hey hey you know trying to distract right but instead of uh this this woman instead of allowing that little thing there to um distract uh her she's using that as a source of inspiration to help her manifest create and, ex and express herself in a healthy way. So I feel like expressing, you know, yourself in a healthy way, it's very important. And that's where the uh, creative outlet really comes through. Guys, if you do that, my goodness, you're going, you're, you're, I mean, I see you just having a super relaxing and, and peaceful um, month, truly. Do you know if there's any issues and any problems that you are having at work or that you're having in your personal life and family life? It doesn't matter. Any issues and problems that you're having, do you know that you're going to be uh, successful at reaching some sort of understanding, some sort of agreement there, guys? And do you know that um, this is a situation, okay, that you're going to find um, a resolution in? I feel like that is the most... Uh, important uh, message here for you guys let's see i feel like there's a lot of love in your using love guys i feel like um this month of may and june finding uh inspiration through a loving connection being able to see past i'm hearing some imperfections in people and 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 being able to see the best in others uh, having okay that perspective is really going to help you succeed this this uh in life and in this time around we have the king of cups okay so just as i was moving into like love we have the king and the queen of cups i feel like there's a, a relationship there's a connection here a soulmate connection for sure or just a very important relationship and connection in your life guys which um i feel like you can expect the both of you to uh, understand each other uh, on a very deep emotional level i feel like it's very important i feel like the circumstances what is going to be going on uh, transpiring in your life from now to through May and through uh, in the month of June is um, really going to require for you to my mind just went blank just a little bit uh, there was something that I saw on my screen I apologize um, it's it's really going to require you to To, to come from to come from an emotionally intelligent and compassionate place three of Pentacles working things out cooperation in the six of wands do know that um, if there's a connection a relationship a situation there is one here do know that um, it will be resolved, taken care of, and do know that a connection and a relationship here is uh, going to remain intact. And do know that you're going to gain and have the understanding, the 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 compassion as well of those around you. That is something it is that you should know. There's a, there's a lot of love here, guys. There's a little bit of sadness, you know, in the air of perhaps, you know, the circumstances are not the greatest. Maybe somebody is not, um, you know, being their best selves. 
I'm hearing they could be a little bit of, of no, annoying, okay, and the situation could be very distracting, but I'm hearing it's very Im important that um, you stay composed, that you stay aligned, and that you see and handle this situation um, through, through, through a higher um, perspective and a higher approach for sure. I do feel like this is challenging, like that's just something that I'm getting. But guys, I, I feel like um, maybe perhaps if the circumstances were a little bit different, it would be challenging. But I feel like the love, OK, that and and the, the love, perhaps the friendship or just your own. Um, or just your own emotional. Um, compassion itself is is going to uh, help you or is going to make it easy for you to handle all of this what am i feeling there's a mixture of emotions here that i'm that i'm sensing guys it's complicated for sure so here we have a woman that's in it's coming out of this seashell so um i'm getting that for some of you um there may be a need to be patient with others there's a need to be patient uh with with others do know that someone will be opening themselves up to you and a smart move or a smart approach for you to take right now is to work with what it is that you are given instead of uh, fighting against it. Let's see. Interesting message, my dear uh, Pisces. Something that you should know. Something that you should know, my dear Pisces. Something that you should know. Pisces, something that you should know. Let's see. Pisces, something that you should know. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, that's a lot of cards. Let's put these back. Maybe there's a Gemini, a Libra, and Aquarius for some of you. I think that was, I don't know if that was the Queen of Swords or the Justice card that I saw there. Let's see. Something that my dear Pisces should know. We have the Death card. Oh, one beautiful card. There might be some unicorn people here. We have the death card. Uh, do know that this is a do, something it is that you should know is that there is an active uh, transformation occurring right now. Um, in particular, this is in connection to a very important relationship uh, in, in your life. The unicorn, guys, is a very high vibrational energy. It is, it's connected to the crown chakra. It's connected to uh, the third eye. So this is all about uh, choosing to rise above, for example. Choosing to, to, to see people, for example, through the eyes uh, of love. I feel like we find ourselves with that type of situation, guys. I do feel like there's a very difficult change, transition, or even ending circumstances that are um, occurring at this time, which could certainly make other people perhaps a little difficult to work with because I feel like the message for you in the beginning from the beginning has been to work well with others. And if you have to work well with others, especially if that's like a message, for example, that is coming through, it's because um, you're going to have to be exerting some energy to do that, which means it's not necessarily going to come the most naturally. But I feel like for those of you that I'm connecting, um, it, it will, but, there will be like a, a constant um there there will be constant uh, attention that you're going to have to bring to yourself perhaps like as reminders of like hey you know 
wait, don't react in that way or, or don't do this or it's better maybe if you approach it in this way. You see, so it's 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 a bit dr draining, but I think you're going to know exactly what it is that you have to do. I do see two people, okay, having to meet someone, I'm here in a higher place, having to connect with someone's higher self at this time, okay? You see how these two people, they're up, up in the cloud. So I, I'm seeing that as two, you know, two people meeting each other in, in a better place. I definitely do see that happening. I do see that as being possible. Let's see, there could be a Scorpio of significance. We have the seven of pentacles. And then we have the Seven of Swords. Seven, seven could be a thing, the month of July, or seven, seven. With the Seven of Pentacles, guys, um, I feel like here we're dealing with a situation which um, is actively undergoing a, a lot of changes, okay? And with the Seven of Pentacles, again, I feel like it will be draining, which just means it's going to be stretched and it's going to be prolonged, okay? With the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like um, there's a particular person, a situation in which you're going to be faced with dealing with that is going to uh, really require your, your caution and your mental awareness to deal with. I feel like you will have to, at times, avoid certain things. And with the seven of pentacles, I feel like this could be, you know, exhausting for sure af after a, a, a little while. There is a need to be patient, absolutely, with the seven of pentacles. And knowing that any time and any energy it is that you invest into this relationship, into this connection, into this situation, into this matter, is going to pay off in due time, okay? With the seven of pentacles i feel like work could be incredibly busy for some of you i feel like it's important for you to get enough rest this time around because mentally i feel like you are going to be um i i feel like your mental energy is um going to be in demand this time around guys because and i do understand that because if you're not well rested, for example, or if you're just mentally, okay, deteriorated, you can get snappy, you can get moody, okay, you will jump, you know, you're, go you're not, you're not going to be as um, perhaps cooperative, you might, you know, lack, uh, have a lapse of judgment, for example, so it, it's, it's very important that mentally you remain nourished okay and that no matter how creepy or how annoying something or someone gets that you always choose to rise above and, and see them in a different light okay that again will be exhausting guys it's it's a very loving uh, sweet energy as as a matter of fact that i that i see here Wow. That is something it is that you should know, which goes very well with the message. And then look, here we have that Queen of Cups and then we have the Three of Pentacles. That Queen of Cups and the three of pentacles guys it's very it's very important that um you connect with your intuition and do know that your intuition okay is going to be guiding you so another thing that i recommend for you guys is that you adopt the regular meditation this time around that helps you process your emotions. Yeah, I feel like regulating your emotions this month of May and June is really going to help you survive this and uh, is going to help you reach the outcome that it is that you're trying to get to. Queen of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. 
Yeah. Let's see. Future, future energy. So that's something it is that you should know. So there is a little bit of future there as well. So let's see how is this going to be developing and moving forward. How is this going to be developing and moving forward, my dear Pisces? Let's see. Let's see. Pisces, this one. We have the devil. Okay. How is this going to be moving forward? We have the page of cups. Look. Remember earlier I said there's that little pirate thing and look it's holding a f it's holding a fish it's holding you I told you there's someone here guys that is being somewhat of like a pirate okay maybe a tyrant just a little bit they're not standing right um in in, in their they're not yeah they're not standing in <laughs> with with their higher self okay For sure and um, I feel like that is going to uh, make them prone to uh, certain behavior patterns, okay, that can be difficult to work with or handle, okay? I feel like there's a situation, a person in your life, okay, which again, it's going to be uh, challenging you, testing you. Um, but I, I don't for those of you that I'm connecting with, okay, here, I, I don't necessarily, f I don't sense like a s severe malicious energy here. I just see someone that is not, um, it's, that that's not standing in their higher self skies, okay? And I, I do see them in, you know, um, influencing you or, or trying to affect you perhaps in a negative way and um, limiting you, restricting you and testing and challenging you, okay? With, there's a dragon back here in the towel there's a dragon printed on the towel so a dragon guys is about having to master something okay so having to look at the higher perspective when we deal with circumstances like this the best thing that we can do is look at the higher perspective and what it is that we're dealing with and with you my dear pisces I feel like you have an opportunity here to master your emotions, okay? In the way of having absolute control over them and not giving, you know, people the power to influence your moods. So here you, you have an opportunity to master your emotions, your reactions, So seeing this somewhat as a test here, I don't feel like this is going to be something that you're going to be dealing with forever. That's just like the energies that we, that you, that I see here this time around. For some of you, this might require, okay, for you to, um, this might require for you to cut back to do more of certain things and then to cut back on other things okay because there is a little bird here that's uh, chained up so i'm seeing that as like restrictive communication so there might be you might have to um hold yourself back with certain things that you say So the communication is important here as well. And I, I, I do feel like you're going to be in a position in which um, you're, you're, you're going to have to kind of work through some things, okay? Some little tight spots, okay? And I'm hearing in the way that you maneuver through this situation, okay? It's, it's really um, going to determine how you come out on the other side. So here, guys... Again, the message is work well with others. Work well with others. 
even when they're being difficult, not allowing them to affect and influence you in a negative way. This is really going to be very rewarding. There's a huge reward here, okay, if you're able to get through this being a unicorn. So I guess the message that I have for you, my dear Pisces, this time around is be a unicorn. What would a unicorn do? What would a unicorn do? That's how you should approach this month of May and June. All right, let's see. That is really going to elevate you and uplift you guys. And it's going to just bring a whole different perspective into your life. That is going to give you the tools for success. Okay, let's see. My dear Pisces, I'm going to grab an Oracle card to close your reading from the Shine from the Inside Oracle cards. Pisces, if you want to book a reading with me, you can do so by going to the link down below in the description box. It's going to take you to votrevoyagetarot.com where you could book a private reading with me. If you have an Instagram, please do follow me on there. That link is down below. Right, let me give this one more shuffle. I'm having a tarot reading giveaway, guys, this month of May. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is comment on my May reading. So that includes the love reading for May as well as the psychic tarot reading for May. This this reading here. And uh, sometime at the end of May, I'm going to just choose a reading and I'm going to go to the comments and just choose someone very randomly. And that's going to be the winner. So all you have to do to enter this free reading, uh, tarot reading giveaway is uh, allow yourself to be seen and comment on my uh, on my May readings, guys. And this is in celebration of reaching 100K subscribers. So thank you so much for all of your love and for all of your support. Uh, it's truly a blessing and I'm eternally grateful for all of the, the love and support that you guys have uh, shown me. Thank you. It says thankful for gratitude rampage list 10 things you're thankful for. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what we have Pisces. Gratitude Rampage 65. So June is very important and so is the month of May <laughs> and the month of November for some of you. Let's see. All right. Every moment has something to every moment has something to be grateful for if you can find it. To appreciate means to make more of. In other words, what you focus on expands. Gratitude is a potent magic power for manifesting more of what you want in your life. If you're constantly focusing on what goes wrong or what you don't like, then the law of attraction, you begin to attract more experiences that cause those negative feelings. The same goes for gratitude. So keeping a regular practice of thankfulness continues to supply continues the supply of awesomeness. It takes more than just saying thank you to activate the manifesting magic. When going on your gratitude rampage, make sure you feel with every ounce of your emotional being the joy for each thing on your list. Get into the habit of saying thank you for all the small things in your life. Keep a journal by your side by your bedside and spend a few minutes each night going on a gratitude rampage and notice all of the blessings that begin to pour in. I am thankful for all the things in my life and I am open to receiving more. Beautiful. This is what I have for you, my dear Pisces. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. As always, truly, it was an honor and my pleasure. You guys take care, okay? Bye-bye.